In this video, I will show you the differences between a major in statistics and actuarial science and the opportunities that they can provide. According to Payscale, the average pay for someone who has a bachelor's degree in statistics is $70,000, and the average pay of someone who has a degree in actuarial science is $67,000. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median pay of an actuary was $108,000 in 2019. However, something to consider is that it can take many years after graduating to become an actuary since there will be a number of additional exams that you must pass. Also, the job market at the entry level is competitive. The Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts that the demand for mathematicians and statisticians will rise by 33% by 2029 compared to 2019. This is mainly due to the surge in data that companies have been receiving in recent years, that they need people with mathematical and statistical skills to make sense of. Since statistics is used in many different fields, a statistics degree should open you up to many different job opportunities. According to Payscale, the most common reported jobs people with a statistics degree report having are data analyst, data scientist, actuarial analyst, software engineer, financial analyst and a business analyst. However, because this is a general degree, if you get a statistics degree without taking more applied classes, it can be difficult to compete for more specialised positions. If you end up choosing a statistics major, this means that you should take courses from the field that you want to enter, do summer internships and to complete projects related to that field as well, in order to be competitive when seeking a job. Many statistics majors go into software engineering after graduation. If you want to qualify for software engineering jobs, it would help to make sure to take a class in data structures and algorithms, since the material from that class gets tested heavily in software engineering interviews. It would also help to try to get some internships as a software engineer while in college. To qualify for these internships, it would help to complete a number of software engineering projects, such as a web app, in order to show recruiters that you know what you are doing. Currently, data science is becoming a very popular career path among statistics majors. To qualify for data science jobs, it would help to make sure to learn Python programming, data analysis using the Pandas library, machine learning, to complete data science projects as an undergrad, and to try to get some data science internships. If your university does not offer data science or machine learning classes, it would be necessary for you to study them in your own time using websites such as Coursera, edX, Datacamp, Kaggle or Udemy. Since data science and machine learning are quickly evolving, you should expect to have to self-study them a lot regardless. If you get a statistics degree by itself, it would put you in a good position to be competitive for analyst type job roles but they do not pay nearly as well as data science, software engineering and machine learning engineering job roles. A statistics degree combined with classes from computer science, data science, machine learning and projects in data science, machine learning and software engineering would be one of the most employable combinations available right now, since all three pay well and have very strong predicted job growth. A degree in actuarial science will be specialised for becoming an actuary. This is good if you want to be an actuary. However, it can mean that it will be more difficult for you to get jobs in other fields that you could have qualified for with other majors such as in statistics, computer science or mathematics. Also, you can still get a job as an actuary without an actuarial degree. Degrees such as statistics, mathematics and applied mathematics can be just as competitive for the job role, depending on the classes that you take. However, there are many skills that you will learn in the major that will still allow you to qualify for other job roles. This is mainly because you will be learning about statistics 
and you should also become proficient with Excel. However, you should also learn how to program in Python and R, since this will help you to qualify for analyst type job roles in particular. According to the data on Payscale, jobs that you can qualify for with a degree in actuarial science could include actuary, actuarial analyst, financial analyst, data analyst and an actuarial associate. Getting a minor in an applied field such as computer science could also help to broaden your job opportunities. The statistics classes in a statistics major can involve a lot of mathematics. As a result, you can expect to take a number of math classes in your freshman and sophomore years. These classes can include single and multivariable calculus, linear algebra and discrete math. After finishing the math prerequisites, you can expect to take a number of different statistics classes, including Introduction to Probability and Statistics, Mathematical Statistics, Regression Analysis, Statistical Learning and Time Series Forecasting. Depending on the university, you can also expect to have the option to take classes related to Data Analysis, Machine Learning and Data Science. Something to consider is that different statistics programs will focus more on certain areas. Some programs will be more theoretical and focus more on traditional statistics classes, whereas others will be more applied and will have more practical classes such as in data science, machine learning and Python data analysis. An actuarial science major will have you taking courses from a number of different disciplines. Required classes you can expect to be taking can include calculus, linear algebra, two courses in calculus-based probability and statistics, computer science, economics, finance, business and actuarial science classes as available. The statistics major is generally considered as being a difficult major. Some of the more advanced classes can be proof-based, which are usually much harder than the more computational classes, but you might not have to take those classes depending on your specific program. When compared with an actuarial science degree, you can expect statistics to be of a similar difficulty. A statistics degree can open up many different possible avenues for yourself and can be a very good degree when combined with a more applied minor. This is because the statistics taught in a stats major is useful in a wide variety of fields but you will need to supplement it with some field specific coursework so that you are able to show that you can apply the statistics to those fields. A very good combination would be to major in statistics and to minor in computer science. Doing this would open you up to job roles such as data scientist, machine learning engineer, data analyst and a software engineer. If you are interested in becoming an actuary, getting an actuarial degree might not be a requirement. Instead, it might be more appropriate for you to get a related degree but to make sure to take the necessary classes to become an actuary and to make sure to complete the necessary actuarial exams while an undergrad. It might be the case that halfway through your time as an undergrad, you decide that you do not actually want to be an actuary. If you major in a more general quantitative subject, such as math or statistics, it should be easier for you to transition towards a different field than with an actuarial major. If you do decide to major in a more general field, it will still be important to choose more employable classes and to complete personal projects so that you can be more competitive for specific job roles. Something to be aware of is that actuarial science will focus more on applying traditional statistics techniques to smaller data sets. However, each year companies are acquiring larger and larger datasets. This is making machine learning techniques used on large datasets in data science more and more relevant each year. Machine learning and big data are getting incorporated in more into actuarial degrees than the exams. However, it will still help a lot to make sure to learn Python. 
manipulation of big data sets using things such as the pandas library and machine learning so that you can also be competitive for data science type job roles. One more thing to be aware of is that actuarial careers can have good job satisfaction because they have good pay, moderate working hours and low stress. However, they also tend to have low job meaning since most of the jobs involve helping already wealthy people earn more money. Alternative careers, such as in data science, can allow you to have a more positive, socially impactful role. When compared with a degree in actuarial science, you can expect a statistics degree to qualify you for a wider range of jobs. This should help you when looking for entry-level jobs since you will have a wider range of potential jobs to qualify for. With that being said, being a general degree can make it difficult for you to qualify for specific jobs. With that being the case, it would help a lot to make sure to take classes related to the type of job that you are interested in. Currently, a very popular job among statistics majors is data science. If that is what you are interested in, it would help a lot to make sure to learn programming in R and Python, data analysis, computer science and machine learning. It would also help to get internships whilst an undergrad during the summer. An additional way to improve your job prospects would be to minor in another degree that is also one with good job prospects, such as computer science. Doing this could help you to qualify for more programming type job roles and could help you when applying to graduate school for things such as machine learning or computer science. Actuarial jobs are commonly rated as being some of the best jobs you can get. If you are absolutely set on becoming an actuary, then getting a degree in actuarial science would be appropriate. In this case, it would help a lot to try to minor in something else such as computer science, since this will help to reduce your risk if you are unable to find an entry-level job as an actuary. However, if you are not absolutely sure that you want to become an actuary, it would likely be a better option to get a related degree such as statistics but to make sure to take the relevant classes to become an actuary.